Finally, we found the last person we need after all. I'm Helic Cross. I'm leading an expedition to the land south of Dalantarth, the teeth of Naros, and we could use another strong back. Few facts. The only record of a successful journey there was by an Alamein missionary named Denric, returned half dead and maddened to hell. <laughs> he claimed the southern land as home to a miraculous city, wrought of gold and trimmed with silver, even said it floated above the earth, if you can believe it. It's hard country, damn impossible to find a pass in the mountains, but if I'm right, this cavern will take us under them. Because Denric wrote of more than wealth. Tales of giant men, tall as houses, that slaughter any who approach. It took weeks even to convince Cash and Sferi to join me. With a fourth, we can take a bigger haul without sharing too much of it. Then we only need to begin. I've seen to all the logistics, and all the preparations for the journey. Meet us in the Southern Passage. Let's try to cover as much ground as we can. It's the cave next to camp. I heard rumors that it was filled with artifacts that none had ever seen before. Strange carvings and huge works of stone. I don't know how dangerous it is, but I advise against being too carefree inside. We should go in as a group. Stay close. The time of deliverance is almost nigh. The teeth of Naros have gone untamed since the rocks were young, since the wind was but a child. And now, my chosen people stand on the precipice of taming this land, or succumbing to it. I thought once that none could change the stars of this world. But at last, one has come who can. Come, thou fateless one, I beckon thee. What the hell is that thing? Speak quickly. This... Uh, what is it? It looks like it's made of stone. But this... this stain... This is blood. This thing is flesh! I'm... I'm not going to stick around and find out what killed this thing. This whole damn place is cursed. What is oh. that thing? Damn craven. Don't know what Cash was getting so worked up for. Just a statue somebody toppled over, and got all bloody. Let the mage run to his mother. We don't need him. We don't even know if it was a corpse. Could have been a statue that an Etten decorated with some entrails, or something. I can't believe that creep. What is it?
Wait a moment. I... I don't like the look of this hallway up ahead. This is Sferi's area of expertise. Let her take the lead here. What was that? First the mage turns coward, then Sferi dies doing the one thing she's supposed to be suited for. Is this some sort of joke? What's next? Are you going to reveal you're really just a kobold with a bad case of mange? Clearly, I should be more thorough when recruiting my expeditions. Fine. Let's just keep moving. We'll manage on our own from here. We keep going. Cash proved to be useless, and Sweri's not helping anyone anymore. Looks like it was always up to us. With just two of us, we'll have to try and manage as best we can. Come, we must make Sperry's death mean something. Hell, were those things? I've never... I've never seen anything like them. I heard of the dangers of the southern land, but are the gods themselves conspiring against us? Those damn beasts hit me worse than I thought. I... I think I need to rest for a while. Here. I'm going to wait here. Scout the passage ahead, and see if you can find a place to make camp. Will you stop fussing over me? It's not doing either of us any good for you to stay here. We need to find some place to make camp. I'll take it. But I'll wait until I really need to use it. Be ashamed to waste the thing, wouldn't it? Ah. Now get going. I need to rest. Discover what you can, and come back to me. I'll be fine. Get going. And so, so, after, after centuries, centuries, it has, it has come, come to pass. pass. The, the cipher, cipher has, has reached, reached thy hands, hands second. second. At, At last, my, my work, work can, can be, be completed. completed.
One who watched and waited for decades and centuries and eons, and all for this day when thou wouldst come before me. I have read the fates of this world to find thee, unfated one. Much rests on your shoulders, but I have one more burden to lay upon thy brow. Since the inception of my labors, I have always known that their fulfillment would require fate to be unbound. Such is the paradox of faith. The tapestry of fate offers no allowance for such events. Only an unfated being could complete the work I had started. So I waited, in despair. And, 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 and then, then thou came to pass. pass. I, I needed, needed thy nature, nature and, and it, it was, was created, created, though I had no hand in it. I, I see that, that as fate, fate, in a way. To continue thy, thy path through the through tapestry of fate, fate and, and perpetuate its, its sundering, I, I will open, open the way to the, to the teeth, teeth of Naros. Seek the Primos, and, and thy duty will be made clear in time. Go now with my blessing. Go now with my purpose. For thou art beckoned. That which was ordained must be undone. First we have an army of Jotun at our gates, and now this. I don't know you, little one, but you'll find no quarter here. This is still Colossi-held territory for the moment. State your intent. You barge into these lands, and yet you do not know who holds them? I am. My people are Colossi. For years we have held these lands as the hallowed grounds of our gods. We are stone and flesh, sword and faith. Everything does harm in these lands. I do not know you, so why should I take you at your word? Furthermore, none have come from those caverns since they were sealed, save you. How is it you came here? It is a road that has gone otherwise unwalked since it was sealed. How did you walk this path? Strange entity. A curious riddle, but one that must be solved later. It seems the Jotun have rallied their strength. Steal yourself! Well fought, little friend. 
You have a strength in your arms that belies their lack of girth. Perhaps you are not the interloper I believed you to be. You claim to have been summoned, but for what purpose? What strange force has brought you here? You speak of the Holy King of my people, and that artifact you bear. Could it be the cipher? Your mission is twice damned already. The Primos is a recluse. But more immediate than that is the Jotun Horde. Idilla is sealed off as long as they continue plaguing my people. Yes, hiding away in his high tower and pining for gods that will never listen to him. The Primos is the highest office among the Colossi, reserved for the one that leads my people in politics and prayer. At least that is how things should be. But Anakatos, the latest to have this authority, has not lived up to his duties. Our people are stranded in a wild land, in a time of our greatest doubt, and he locks himself away from us. Our ruler leaves us leaderless. The Jotun are led by Karank, a warlord that reigns over his horde from his ramshackle tower. One of my scouts, Remy's, watches them now. He can offer you advice on fighting the warlord, and when, if, you can kill Karank. I will lead you to the Primos myself. The quickest way to end their threat would be to kill their war chief, Karank. With his death, the others will be brought to heal. Bring word to the city. They will need to know about the Jotun. What is this? Ah! What a horrid little thing you are! Are you some kind of Jotun runt? Explain yourself quickly. The last thing I want is to give away my position. That much I was aware of, and I knew Sikandra would send someone. But you! A sign of the times, to be sure. But if you're to do the deed, then I have information that you will need. Karunk is truly powerful but no more so than his brethren. It is not his strength that's troubling. It's his fortitude. Two kobolds he keeps with him work some strange magics that heal his wounds and help him resist injury. Kill them, and the fight is yours. Using primal magic would certainly help as well. Strange thing, aren't you? 
primal magic is a magic imbued upon weapons and gems. Only armament can channel it. The magic does some damage on its own, but its true strength is its ability to augment other magics you cast on your foe to a devastating degree. Take this weapon, use it to inflict primal magic on a foe, and let loose your spells. Even a Jotun warlord could not withstand such an onslaught. It is an older form of magic, one that does using imagine loosing be careful.
I... I had heard. From Remy's, I received word that one such as you entered Karunk's tower with no trepidation, no anxiety. Do I even have to ask? Does the war chief still draw breath? It... it was said the gods would call their champion. And here you are, bearing the cipher, seeking the primos. For your role in deposing the warlord, I give you this. A hammer prized among the Jotun, so I'm told. Use it as your trophy. Now my forces can put the rest of the Jotun to the spear beckoned. Before this day, I thought it was just a myth. A lie my people told ourselves to make our sins more bearable. The beckoned is a deliverer. The beckoned speaks for the gods. The beckoned is their messenger, their conduit. What is the beckoned? One who carries the cipher, the icon of the gods. One who faces the troubles of my people without hesitancy. The beckoned is you. I... I owe you much for killing Karunk beckoned. So I will do as you say. I only hope you do not reap bitter fruit from your generosity. Now I will take you to the Henge, and then to the Primos, as I promised. An artifact my people made. With the city in the sky, we knew we needed a way to travel from the teeth and back. The energies it focuses are the same as those that keep the city aloft. They can levitate people and objects safely. Very well. Here, Beckoned. This artifact you see before us is a henge. We use it to transport to the city. It may be uncomfortable at first. I still recall retching after my first journey with it. But it is the only way into the city. Be cautious in these lands. And here you have it, Idilla, our great failing. Now let us go to Anakatos. He may hide from our people's needs, but he will not refuse a visitor sent from Athene. The gods choose the Primos to lead we Colossi and to enact their will. Of the gods, we are the favored of Athene, the goddess of wisdom, or we were. Athene's once common words have been quiet for some time. The Primos has prayed in isolation for years, but she does not answer. Farewell. Mind your step here, Beckoned. I wouldn't want the Colossi's failure to claim any more lives than it already has. It is not here by choice. 
or our choice anyways. Such questions would be better suited for the Primos. Suffice it to say that this was made in anticipation of something that never occurred. Very well. Beyond these stairs is the sanctuary of the Primos, the leader of the Colossi people in the teeth of Naros. I must warn you, Anakotos has not left these quarters in years. He vowed to never cease his prayers until the gods answered them, and his people have languished for it. But I think his answer has finally arrived. Speak to him, Beckoned. His people have need of him. After years in his sanctum, I doubt he is the Primos I once knew. But though we all languish in the gods' absence, none suffer as he does. He will likely see you as the answer to his prayers. Be cautious in these lands. What can I do? Though the path be fraught with tribulation, know that it leads to the land of our greatness, and that we walk it with you. Such were the words the gods spoke to the progenitor of my race when they sought to guide us from our base origins into a fruition of potential. The words have been in my heart every day of my reign, but now they are embodied. Welcome, Beckon. At last, this city will be complete. Because we are all of us, my whole people, incomplete. Because we are not worthy enough, not deserving enough, to see such wonders of the gods. And I thought that failure was a finality. I have prayed to the gods in seclusion in hopes of an answer. But they were as quiet as the silent choir. Now the beckoned is come. With you the gods can bear witness to us atoning for our inadequacies. We must start at once, beginning with the wreath of absolution. Something no Primos would ever wish to wear. They are only made in times of great need, and we must prove to the gods our devotion. The wreath of absolution can only be created from the hands guided by Athene. I must ask you to assemble it. First, a golden prayer circlet is needed to serve as its base. The art of crafting one is all but lost to us, but I require one all the same. The last Primos to wear a wreath of absolution, Arches, is buried with one such circlet. Sikandra led you to me, did she not? Then she will lead you to the circlet. It lies in his crypt, in the darkest pits beneath the city. They are old halls, and they have fallen into disuse. I understand there might be trepidations in taking such an artifact from my predecessor's crypt, but I assure you, it is ordained. The times we have arrived at are desperate, 
And when the heavens show their intent, one cannot stand too much on ceremony. Very well, Beckoned. You return. Well, the Primos has not graced the ears of his subjects in ages. What has he said to you? The circlet of our case. And Anakatos expects me to lead you to it? Has his reclusion left him senseless? Has he forgotten his history as well as his people? Very well. As I cannot refuse the Primos, I will meet you in the crypts, in the undersewers of the city. Let us deal with this as quickly as possible. We can find it in the crypts beneath the city's sewers. They are old structures, forgotten as the city was built above them. Very well. Close. There are worse things than marauders in these lower tunnels. They have lurked these walls for decades. Come. If that fool... If Anakatos wishes us to retrieve the circlet, we will do it quickly. I wish to be done with this. Very well. There. That is the artifact you seek. The circlet of Arkays. By taking it, Arkays grave becomes an empty tomb. Let us depart. Onokotos has had his fun with me, and there is nothing left to plunder. I... it is nothing I can share with you, Beckoned. It is not worth your time. 
I always thought that were I to come to Arcase's crypt, it would be because of the work of gods alone. And here I am, by the will of none but Anakatos, flesh and blood. I cannot! I will not! Even after all these years, he has not forgotten his brand of viciousness! He knows I must obey his command. I apologize for my outbursts. However, it... It can be hard to let convictions go. But we must. We must. Take the circlet back to Anakatos. He is most likely waiting for you. Very well. No one comes down here anymore. It is left to ruin, for the Colossi have no more need of these halls, or those interred within them. How many years did our masons toil to assemble this place? And look at it now. How easily we discard the labors of our past. You bear the circlet of Arches. Then the wreath is almost complete. The foundation is gold with runes of prayer, as I said. Now, it must be woven with blood and toil. The Colossi furnish the foundation and nature furnishes the trappings. The laurels of the wreath are not crafted, but earned. We seek Terex veins. Once they are ours, once the wreath is complete, the ritual of atonement can begin. I take it you have encountered a Terex before. Likely the mongrel, carrion-eating scavengers that plague us. They are a common foe. We seek the veins of the Alpha Terex. They are fierce and proud, all that is wild and savage in nature. To prove to the gods the righteousness of our faith, then we must conquer a mighty foe. They will serve. The gods sent you to bear witness to our atonement. To do that, we must complete the wreath of absolution. The wreath is made from the large feathers, the veins, of the Terex Alphas. They live in Eries to the south. Come, Beckant. On 
Donna Cotters walks among us, and the citizens are awed. This act seems small to you, Beckoned, but it is enough to give my people hope. I thank you, on their behalf, if nothing else. We are here. That is good. I feel hope stirring in my veins once more. It is the prospect of reconciliation that has granted me a second youth. Come. We must kill the Alphas of each Eerie. With their veins in hand, we shall fulfill the God's wishes. The Terex Eries lie in the wilds of the Teeth of Naros, to the south of the city. We need not look far to find what we seek. But while there are many lesser Terex here, we seek only the plumage of their strongest and brightest. These are the true challenge. Very well, Beckoned. Feel Balon's embrace. <laughs> <laughs> Feel Balon's embrace. Thus we begin. And as we harvest these trophies, you shall learn the journey the Colossi have taken to get here. Once we were but savages, no better than the other giant kin. We were called Myru, and to that identity we were chained until one day, Athene spoke to us. She spoke of a destiny and greatness that was not ours, but could be. She showed us the path of ascension, and we followed it here, to the teeth of Naros. No, we are far from the homeland of our ancestors. Undoubtedly, the gods wished us to renounce our savage history. It was necessary. Though the Jotun and Etin once regarded us as kin, they grew jealous of us, of the strength we gained from the gods' favor. Tensions rose to war. It was a sign from Athene to my people to seek a new homeland, where the bounty of her wisdom could be harvested eternally. We must act. Feel 
Balon's embrace. <laughs> My wrath. Stay close. If we are not, we must act. We wandered the teeth of Naros in search of the homeland we were promised. And when hope seemed lost, we found the Hyperion. It was a divine artifact. No mortal hand could have crafted it, a massive stone, alone in the wilderness, with the image of a floating city engraved upon its surface. At the city's heart was the Hyperion itself, we knew then Athene was tasking us to craft this wondrous city, to form a covenant. But we betrayed that ideal. To test our worthiness, the gods have strewn throughout Amalur riddles, puzzles, and challenges. Answering them demonstrates our greatness. The Hyperion is one such challenge. Perhaps the greatest of them. And though we discovered it years before, we still do not have the answer. Very well, Beckoned. Embrace. It must be built. In the end, the city rose, but the Hyperion did not follow. The heart of the city remained unmoved. That we could not abide. My predecessor, Arches, sought to force the Hyperion up. The Hyperion rejected him, killing him and his followers, and sealed itself away. Our work here is concluded. As a show of thanks, take this helm. Once reserved for our strongest fighters, it is only fitting you receive it. I must make the gods see that my people can be redeemed for the faults of Arches. With the wreath in hand, Conduct a ritual of atonement. As you bear the cipher, the conduit to the gods, you will bear witness. Come, we must conduct this ceremony at the site of our original transgression. Let us go to the Hyperion. If it will not, then why were you brought to me? To give pretense to salvation? To raise our hopes, only to crush them with failure? I know the gods of my forerunners. They would not flaunt the answer to their riddles without sharing it. Now come. The Hyperion awaits. We must act. <laughs> 